Today I'll be showing you how to export your Minecraft worlds on any iOS device. Now recently Minecraft has updated their game and they have changed elements of their UI such that the old export pack that I have made videos on in the past do not work on this new version of Minecraft. So this is a new method updated for the latest version of Minecraft which is 1.21 Point eight one, I believe, but it is the newest version of Minecraft at the time of this video. So what you're going to want to do is open up Safari and head down to uh, this link, which will be in the description below. And don't worry about all this text here. You just want to click on skip to downloads and then scroll up a little bit and under downloads, you will see the .mc pack. So go ahead and click on that. You're gonna say, I'm not a robot, wait uh, a few seconds, and then you're gonna wanna download it to your files app. So click get downloads and then click this once again and then click download. I've already done that to save some time. So we're gonna hop into the files app here and as you can see, the import export button on the hider.mc pack is visible on my iPad. So all you're going to need to do is just go ahead and click that. Wherever you saved it, just click it. And it will import into the game. So once doing that, uh, click on settings. Scroll down until you see global resources. And then under my packs, you will see the pack that we just imported. So go ahead and click that, click activate. It'll say it's activate. You can verify this by clicking the active tab and seeing that it is indeed active. Go back out, wait a few moments, click play. Now this is very important that um, you do this step before going into your world. You got to click on edit for each of the worlds that you want to export Scroll down until you see resource packs and under available make sure you click the available tab go into owned and Then you need to activate that export button on hider. So click on activate click the active tab to ensure that it has been activated Go back out Go back out once again, just so it refreshes in the background. Click play, and just go into that world that you activated it for. So I will go into my survival world. And once you're in your world, you're just gonna wanna click the three dots at the top. And before getting into it, I wanna put this as a disclaimer. Anytime you make a change in your world, you're gonna need to save and quit and then go back into your world and then follow this part of the video. So you can't just make a change in the world, say destroy some blocks or mine or whatever, and then go ahead and export it right from there. You need to click save and quit so it saves that progress come back into the world and then follow exactly what I will be doing here. So that aside, just click those three lines at the top, click settings, and then under the game tab, you're gonna scroll all the way down and then you will see export template. Go ahead, click that. And then you will see this pop-up what you're gonna to wanna to do now is click Save to Files. And then you want to change the name to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna leave it as Survival World and I'm just gonna save it to the root of my iPad here. So click Save. It'll say World Export Finished Successfully. Go back out, save and quit. And then you can Swipe out of it, go to files, and now you will see survivalworld.mc world. Now that is your Minecraft world that we have just exported, and you can go ahead and save that to iCloud Drive or 
uh, Google Drive or whatever cloud service, you can transfer it to your computer and then import it to your other iOS device or your new iPad. And then all you're gonna need to do is install Minecraft and then just click on that world, that MC world file, and it will open in Minecraft. So at this point in the video, you're pretty much all done in saving your worlds. I'm just gonna be showing you right now that if I delete the world that's in my Minecraft game currently, and then import this .mc world in there, it will be the exact same world that we just exported. So you don't need to watch this part of the video, but I'm just showcasing that if I delete the world and import it, it'll work. So I'm gonna go here and delete world. Go ahead, delete that, go back out. Go into files and then I will just tap on survival world world import started and then finish successfully so I will click on play and there you go there is my survival world right back at it and I will go ahead and go back into it to show you that it indeed loads everything that was saved so there you go we just imported that world that we had just saved so this is akin to importing it into a new device and that's exactly what i just showcased here just on the same ipad so please let me know if this worked for you great if it didn't drop a comment in the comment section below don't forget all the links that you do need which is just one link will be in the description below so check that out other than that, I hope this worked for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Starson signing off.